So we have a few family members and friends that live in an apartment and feel that they have to wait till they have the house of their own with property to grow what they eat. In this video, we're going to show you what plants you can grow while living in an apartment. And we're going to start right now. What's going on YouTube Gardener? This is your boy Sydney from the Naked Gardener channel. Hopefully after watching this video, you're going to learn what plants you can grow while living in an apartment. However, before we get to that, we got some seedlings that we started when we first got to this apartment that we need to transfer out here. And we're going to put them in these uh, fabric containers that we got from Bootstrap Farmer. Before we get to the uh, telling you what to grow, fill these up with some uh, soil and put the transfer of the seedlings into here. So let's get growing. All right, so now that we got everything transplanted into the fabric containers, now we can talk about what plants you should grow if you're in an apartment that you would basically like to eat. The first one is going to be microgreens. For the simple fact, with microgreens, you can harvest them early. Normally, they take anywhere about two to three weeks, and you can plant them and uh, start harvesting them early off the back. And you can use like peas, sunflowers, um, kale, lettuce, you know, any type of uh, vegetable that you can think of, you can basically use the sprouts of those as your microgreens and you get the best nutrition uh, from those. The next one you can do is tomatoes. Now with tomatoes, there's two types of tomatoes. You got your indeterminates and your determinate tomatoes. With your indeterminates, they could grow anywhere from uh, 8 to 12 feet tall, so you definitely don't want to use those. You want to use a determinate uh, variety with those possibly grow anywhere from about 3 to 4 feet uh, tall and you can grow those in the containers and uh, most of the time you can grow those in about a 5 gallon container or larger. The next one will be peppers. Uh, with peppers, those are normally grow about 3 to 4 feet as well. Perfect container crop to grow on, on those and you have your sweet variety of peppers and then you have your spicy uh, peppers as well. The next one is herbs. With herbs, there's a, a variety of herbs that you can grow, uh, especially if you keep them all indoors. You can grow your herbs all year round. You have your parsley, your cilantro, your basil, your dill, and just a rosemary, uh, basically things that you use that you can use out in the kitchen. You could grow those indoors or you can uh, grow them outdoors as well. With indoors, you can keep them growing year round and just harvest uh, them off of from there. You can grow garlic. Uh, with garlic, they're a good, um, they're mostly better in raised beds or in direct 
uh, sow into the ground. But if you have containers, you can grow them in containers as well. Especially with these type of uh, fabric containers, you could grow anywhere. You could grow the uh, garlic anywhere from about three to four of the garlic bulbs in a, a nice little five gallon container and get you a nice head from there. The next ones will be your root vegetables like your carrots, your onions, your beets, and your radishes. For carrots, the uh, carrots will do very well in containers because you'll be able to control the moisture content of the soil. Uh, carrots love moist soil to help them to expand and dig into the root. And uh, with the containers on the balcony or patio, you can uh, keep control of those. This goes along with onions and beets and stuff. Now with radishes, uh, those turn over in anywhere from 25 to 30 days. So you can just do every two weeks, just do a succession plant of those. That's if you like radish. If you don't like radishes, don't grow them. The next ones are very easily are going to be like your lettuces. With lettuces, you can grow them in a five gallon container or a little, little container uh, like these. And uh, you can just do a cut and come along uh, growing from there. It was basically, you just take the bottom leaves of, of the uh, lettuce and just harvest them every so often. Uh, you want to do that anywhere about three to four um, tries off of there. And then after that, just cut it off and just plant, uh, keep on planting it from there. Good thing about lettuce is you can grow them indoors or outdoors. If you grow them indoors, you can grow them year round. If you grow them outdoors, you gotta uh, watch the temperature because they will bolt and go to seed. So you gotta be mindful of that. The next one is kale. Kale is one of the probably the most durable product that you can grow because they deal with the heat and some of them can deal with the frost tolerant or, or very frost hardy. They can go up to the hardiness zone. I think of some of these to zone three. Um, and there's a lot of variety of kales that you can pick from from there and you can just basically uh, Like I said grow no matter what growing season that you are in you can grow them almost year-round as long as the, the temperature is anywhere from 30 to About 75 ish you want to grow your your kale the next one is citrus fruit uh, or citrus tree like the Meyer plant with the Meyer plant if you have a balcony or patio something similar to this you can grow the the, the Meyer a lemon tree out here something like this uh, if the weather is getting too little frost and get too little cold you can grow them indoors and use them almost as an ornamental uh, plant so and you still be harvesting from there as well depending on how the temperature you have it inside the next one is strawberries if you have a railing system like this you can grow strawberries into a little uh, railing planter box like this or a little container and you want to make sure that you're, if you're going to grow strawberries, that your container at least about six inches deep. The last one will be mushroom. Now, this is something that we don't have much knowledge of. We've been following Rob Sapper from Ession's Family Garden. He does a lot of mushroom planting uh, in his on his channel so we're following him i'll put the link to his channel down below and maybe to one of his videos that he's doing uh hopefully we can get him to start doing more updates on those these are the perfect times you can grow mushrooms because you could just grow mushrooms in the closet from what it seems like they require dark space with a hu uh, very humid area we're going to be watching him and hopefully he can give us some follow-up up-to-date tutorials from there those are the type of plants that you can grow while living in an apartment. You definitely want to only grow what you are willing to eat or have tried or that you do like out of all of these. All right, so we I'm gonna show you how you, if you're living in an apartment, how you can plant some seeds. Uh, we have this seed starting mix that uh, we've done before. And uh, I'll put the description of the video down below of how we, basically sterilize the seed start mix two ways one with the hot boiling method and by just basically putting it in the oven kill off any type of fungus gnats eggs and things that could be harming the root of your seedling plants and that way you, your plants will be able to uh, thrive from there so and you always want to have your seed start mix moist so that way you're you have a nice foundation be easy to come pack because if you have it dry and you put your seeds in there and you wet it down your seeds have a chance of falling down through the cracks up here so you always want to start off with a nice moist area 
All right, so what you do is just basically put your seed, your seed started mixed up in here. Get it nice and good. Get it compacted. And then you just finish it off with some more mix. Alright, so we got all of these, uh, the seeds that we're going to do started. We got it underneath the grow station. We'll go in there and, and show you how that looks. We've got the transplants into the containers. And we started some seeds, direct sow seeds of the carrots and the beets into the uh, containers as well. Uh, now, if we were going to be living in this place for a long term, uh, what we'd probably do is probably do a, like a little trellis going along here maybe have some cucumbers and some whole beans and other ways that we can grow vertical uh, up through here probably have some more of these uh, rail planters growing on probably put some strawberry in those and some other herds whatever it may be but we're gonna be doing more apartment life growing gardening uh, series like this if you like these type of videos uh, make sure you hit the like button if you're new to the channel and haven't done so already make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss an upload. Until the next video, let's grow together.